So a big thing that most guys struggle with is holding a conversation. Or that's with a woman or a man or anyone who you just met, a lot of guys struggle with keeping a conversation going and having it be interesting so that the other person becomes interested in you. So what I want to do for you here in this video is share with you three power tips that you can use to hold an awesome conversation. So the first tip I have for you to hold a conversation is to prepare ahead of time. A little preparation is key and goes a very long way. Now, what I mean by this is that you'll see in your interactions, whether you're going out and meeting other people, or even if you're meeting someone on the dating apps or any other way that you're meeting people, you'll see that a lot of questions and topics come up over and over again. And rather than just keep trying to wing it every time, why don't you take a little bit of time out and prepare for these topics that are going to be coming up in every conversation that you're having. Okay, you know in every conversation, someone is going to ask you, what do you do? Someone's going to ask you, you know, what do you do for fun or what do you do on the weekends? Someone's going to ask you, you know, what things you're into, which is kind of like the other question. They're going to ask you where you're originally from, okay? Let's just take those right there. Um, what you do for work, what things you're into and what you actually do and where you're from originally, okay? If you just take those three things, you could pause this video, start a, a Word document or something like that, and now write down what type of things would you like to share when someone asks you that question, okay? Would you like to share some good things about your hometown and where you're from? Would you like to share some reasons why you moved to where you live right now, what you like about the city, right? That's a great opportunity to paint a picture about who you are. Another thing too is that you can't always control how much information another person is going to give you in a conversation, okay? But you can control what you give. So if you can give value and give information and start to open up and share, the other person will reciprocate they'll feel more comfortable around you and they'll start sharing as well too. You're gonna to set a pace with what you share. So be prepared to share things first, okay? Write down a list of the things that you do and write down some of the things that you would like other people to know about, right? When I meet, um, let's say for example, either a woman or a guy, right? When I'm meeting someone, I'm, I'm looking for commonalities, meaning that I'm looking for common points of interest because that may be an activity or a conversation topic that me and that person can now explore down the line, okay? If I meet a guy um, and I'm talking about weightlifting or UFC or, you know, going out to meet women or um, photography or, or rock and roll music or whatever type of things that I'm into, if I bring those things up in the conversation and someone else is into that, then that's awesome, right? We're going to start to connect. If I bring up things that I'm into and the person is not into those at all, then we're probably not going to connect very much. Or as well, if you keep an open mind, they may share some things that you're not into and it may be an opportunity for you to learn something or also go for another experience. A good buddy of mine always says that he loves to experience new things with someone who's very passionate about that, okay? So he'll go and, for example, he wants to try... Um, whatever he wants to go and, and shoot some hoops right he's going to go with someone who really likes and enjoys basketball so he's going to get a good experience of it okay so being open-minded is good as well too but be prepared and prepare yourself for those topics and questions that come up beforehand and prepare some things that you'd want to share about yourself the second tip i have for you and this right here can extend your conversations and keep them going and and really help you hold a conversation just this one tip and this tip i always like to give is to answer your own questions okay a very big mistake that guys make there's nothing wrong with asking someone questions okay and we're going to talk about that um, in the next point and, and, and how to do that properly but when you ask a question don't just get an answer and then just go right to the next question and, and hammer that person in interview mode okay you want to relate to that person as well and share your experience so if you ask somebody where they're from they say they're from this place and whatever and say oh okay yeah i'm originally from blah 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 and then i moved out here so answer your own question every question that you ask you can get a lot of juice from it so you may as well do that when you ask it give the person a chance to answer if you want to find out more obviously you can follow up on that but don't just change the conversation topic to something else unless they ask you obviously but even if you could go back share some information and answer that question for yourself and that goes back to the first one right have those questions that you're going to ask have a few of them prepared right have a few simple questions that you'll ask in your uh, conversations and then have your answers prepared to those questions so that you can share those as well dude i do this on my you know 
thousands of dollars of cost of a weekend program where I take guys in and I, I teach them how to talk and meet people and then we go out and actually do it in real life. This is the tips that I give them. I'm giving them to you here. So they're very important. They're very powerful and they work incredibly well. And the third tip is to get curious about the other person and actually listen. Okay, Dale Carnegie mentions this and how to win friends and influence people. Tony Robbins listed this as the number one way to build attraction with a woman, and that is to just give your genuine interest and attention, okay? A big issue that I see with guys, and I know because I struggled with this too back in the day, a big issue is that when you start to talk in a conversation and ask a question, someone else starts talking, but then you go right back into your own head and say, okay, what am I gonna say next? God, I don't wanna run out of things to say. What am I gonna do? And you start thinking, me, 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 about yourself, and you're not paying attention to the other person, okay? One of my favorite quotes from a guy who taught me back in the day was he said that a woman or the other person in the conversation will give you all the material that you need, okay? They'll give you certain things that they're interested in, they'll ask questions, they'll bring up topics that you can now pick those out and you can now ask more questions about, you can get curious about and dig a little bit deeper and find some information about that person, okay? So as Dale Carnegie said, you know, be genuinely interested in another person. How many times have you been in a conversation you could tell someone's just like, you know, okay, yeah, 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 like nodding you along or they can't wait to say, oh yeah, well I did that too and one up you, right? Somebody who people love to be around is somebody who they could share information with and they're excited to hear about it. They're excited to say, man, that's awesome. Tell me more about that. And they're genuinely interested in hearing more about you. If you want to make friends, if you want to attract women, if you want to be popular, if you want to be somebody who is liked and well-liked by other people, I mean, we all do, right? If you want to do that, then this tip is probably your most powerful tool. Just be interested and let the other person shine. If you do that, you're going to get very far. You know, someone's going to feel more attracted to you if they shared information and you were interested in it than them sitting there and listening to you brag, you know, the whole time. Okay. So get people talking, get curious, ask follow-up questions and really listen and pay attention to what they're saying. And eventually they'll ask you questions and they'll just be happy that they have someone who actually gives a shit about them and cares and wants to listen to them. Okay. This is listening and being curious is a lost art nowadays. We have so much ADD and, and looking all around and paying attention to so many different things that we don't do this enough. This is crucial. It's huge and it will help you tremendously. Okay. If you have any struggles with holding a conversation or any questions to follow up about this video, please ask them in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel and go and check out. I have a lot of other awesome, awesome videos for you right here and I'll have one queued up for you to check out next.